So we know that there are a bunch of nerfs coming to the Amex, Bullfrog, and Farah. So we're looking to the future, and the Ram 7, I believe, is part of that future. This is a couple of setups based on distance or just kind of general use. Uh, probably the most fun I had with this was using it as a CQB gun with no barrel uh, and just kind of running up on people. That said, the last barrel works phenomenally for distance engagements. But overall, the gun is a 5.56 pattern, and it, it just handles really, really well, as you can see in these clips. Just, it's a it's a good handling gun once you get used to it. It's got a little bit of kick here and there to the side, but once you get past that, it's not really that big of a deal. So primarily, we're going to set this up with a Ranger, because the Ranger barrel will reduce vertical recoil and give you the most bullet velocity increase. You can set this up with a commando grip that does reduce the horizontal and vertical just a hair, but the big key with that is it slows you down a little bit in your movement speed. I would advise not using the grip and instead going with maybe fully loaded or stippled grip combined with like a tack laser. Uh, it depends on what your play style is, but there are a handful of loadouts thrown throughout this video for you guys to check out. The ones that I enjoyed the most that I found to be the most beneficial for the gun. Now, there are a couple things you can uh, kind of pair this with, and it's going to be either the Psykov pistols if you're going to run the distance one with the scope, that's VLK three times, or you would pair it with the like a K31 or SPR type sniper rifle to get those distance engagements. Um, this gun moves fast enough to where you don't really need to carry an SMG with it for the most part, so that's it, kind of a major plus. And at a distance with the Ranger barrel, you can reach out and touch people without really that much of a fight. Because um, the, the barrel doesn't really jump around that much. And luckily, the vertical recoil in the scope isn't great at all. But as you can see, it does kind of compare with the AMAX. It's close. It's within 100 milliseconds. Um, so that's, that is major, but you can even those up with more rounds and better shots. But as you can see, here are the loadout builds compared to each other. The uh, non-barrel one obviously has some downside, but I mean, this kind of tells me that, hey, we might as well run the good barrel and just set the gun up right so we have those distance engagements if I'm going to run this gun anyway. But the big key here is going to be that non-barreled gun is going to have the fastest ADS movement speed of any of these guns, as well as the fastest movement speed in general. So that is really the thing. Was We're going to use the gun how you're going to use it, and that's all what really matters. But if this video helped you guys out, give me a like. If you like me, give me a subscribe. Have a good one, guys, and I will see you around.